guys, it's Premier right here. Welcome back to episode 9 now of the Youth Academy series with Barnett. And we'll start this episode by just having a look at a couple of the player conversations. First one was from Sacchini. He's come to us and said, Hello, boss. I thought I'd pop my head around the door to say thanks for having a little bit of faith in me. To be honest with you, he hasn't really played great that, um, he hasn't really played great recently. But, you know, he's the only real decent centre back, him and Matt up we've got, so we've got to keep playing him. And other than that as well, Manhan uh, basically wants, to, uh, wants a new contract, so we're going to go and see what he's on right now. So, Manhan is currently sitting on £500 a week. He's still got two years and eight months left. So, if we can give him an extra two years, that would be great. Good news then, Manhan has accepted his contract. So, that means I believe he's now got four years and eight months left on his deal. So, that's plenty of time. So, if he comes to us again, again and wants another wage rise or whatever, then we may have to look to sell him. But, I'm happy he's signed, signed the contract and hopefully he'll stay with us for a while longer yet. Our first game of the episode then is at home against Hartlepool. One change, and that is Christie's coming out of the side. Holmes Dennis is in because Christie's on international duty. Other than that as well, Man Han and Dong Zhong are both on international duty as well. So on the bench, we've got a couple of the older uh, actual Barnet players that don't play that much anymore to fill in their roles. Other than that, it's exactly the same side. Still on legendary. Let's see how we get on. Hartlepool playing it around nicely. It's a shot. Good save from Hussein. Chase that Moriaro. He's done very, very well. It's a mistake from Hartley Cabal at the back. Can Moriaro capitalise? He can. 1-0. Great finish across the keeper. Just put it over the keeper. Hartley Paul have done fuck all so far. Apart from that one save that Hussein's had to make. We've done fuck all. It's been a very boring game. All they've done is pass it around the back. To be honest with you, like this. But the one time Moriaro intercepts it. He runs through. Puts it into the corner. And that is how many goals from this season now? Six. He's starting to rack up the goals. Him and Hansen. That's where our goals are coming from. 1-0 up. Good start, boys. Hartlepool living on the edge here. They've gone short again. Here's Moriaru onto his right foot. Still going for two. It's Moriaru with the brace. Two defensive mistakes from Hartlepool. Two goals. Moriaru on absolute fire. You give him a sniff like that. Even you give him half a chance. Tackled the centre-back well, brought it onto his right foot, sold that other centre-back, the dummy, went straight across him and puts it into the corner. Doubles our lead on the stroke of half-time. 2-0 up, well done, boys. 2 and up and pretty much cruising. And if this is what Legendary is going to be like as well, there must be some sort of higher difficulty in Legendary, surely. Get rid of that Matok. He's going to have time to take it down. Fucking hell, probably should have cleared it first time. It's blocked. No, it isn't. They probably should have scored that. That was my fault. I thought I could be a little bit cheeky with trying to take it down with Matok and then clearing it. Should have headed it away first time, but it doesn't matter. People got to track back now. We want a clean sheet. We want a clean sheet. It doesn't look like it's going to be a clean sheet. That's a fab. No, fuck off, ref. That is an unbelievable tackle from Matok. And that's going to be Matok's second red in the space of about four games. And that is bollocks, FIFA. What a sack of shit. What a sack of shit. It was, a, to be fair to Hartlepool, they worked it well. It was a good one too. But you're telling me that Matok does not win the ball here. You can go and fuck yourself, FIFA. What an unbelievable tackle that is. He may have won the, he may have actually taken the man first. He may have taken the man first. But still, it's a great challenge. And Hartlepool don't deserve this. Hussein against Thingy. He's gone the wrong way. And it's 2-1. And we've got fucking three minutes to hold on. Not good, boys. We've just got to keep the ball. Just calm. Keep the ball. And we're going to win this game. Because we deserve to win it. Stepanenko's done well. Finds Gondo. Finds Fafana. One more. It's Ben Harris. Should have scored. Should have scored and killed the game off, mate. Referee blows for full time then. We hung on a little bit at the end. Well, no, we didn't actually. We just got a fucking red card. I thought it was a great challenge from Matok. We'll have another look at it again in a minute, hopefully. Um, but again, another win just means without we're without Matok now for a few games, which is a little bit annoying, but not much we can do. But 2-1 win, that's all that matters. Let's have a look at this again then. It was a good it was well worked from from Hartlepool, and it ball comes in, and Matok makes the slide tackle, and all right, fine. But still, that's still bollocks. Let me have a look at this again. Because it's not, it, he doesn't really make that much contact with him. The guy kind of falls over before even Matok's made contact with him, but whatever, it's a penalty, it's a red card, and that's all that matters. 
Our next game then is against Port Vale away. Two changes then, and Garlis having to come to fit, come in to fill in for Matok, who obviously picked up that red card in the last game. And Christie is back in at left centre mid, centre defensive mid, uh, to fill in for Holmes Dennis. Other than that, we're unchanged, in a good bit of form. Let's so hopefully we can keep up that form against Port Vale away. Martinez is in acres of space, so he's giving it to Stepanenko instead. That's all right, because he's going to drive inside and feed Hansen with a great touch. And he's going to have a bangers! Good save from the keeper. Keeper was kind of rushing out there. I'm not sure if you guys saw that. When Hansen took the dodgy first touch, the keeper wasn't actually anywhere near his goal. He was standing on the fucking penalty spot. Maric has been sucked out of position now, and that means sacchini has got to come across. And he's fucking fouled. That was unlucky. I just tried to block the cross, and he's taking him down. Will be a booking for Sacchini. But more importantly, they've got a dangerous chance to whip this in, actually, from a good area. Christie and Maric and co have got to get rid of this. And it's into Maric and he's done well. And it's a... Oh, my Lord. That was struck at about 7,000 miles an hour. And he's put that miles wide. They should have done better from there. A bit of dodgy defending from us. And we've got away with that one. It's half time. Boring off. Fucking boring. Man, hand just come on. Martinez. Hansen, this is better. We've got bodies forward now. Holmes Dennis just come on as well. Can he slip for Fana down the channel? We can. Who's in the middle? Drill it across. Unlucky. Okay, another chance. It's Holmes Dennis with a volley and he's put it miles wide. Oh, you had. I even had time to take that down. Fabio Barros, mate. His head is in his hands. He knows how good of a chance that was. Unlucky. And that's the end of the game. A boring nil-nil. Neither side really had much. Um, I can't even remember if we had any fucking shots in that game. It was boring. Zero on target for Port Vale. Stepanenko pits up man of the match. And we've got to move on to the next game, boys. Monthly scouting update from Spain then. He's brought us back a 71-94 to goalkeeper. We'll continue to scout him. A 56-78 to reject. 61-85 to uh, reject. 62 to 86 reject and a 56 to 78 reject and we will continue to scout Enrique Ojeda and a monthly scouting update from England then he's brought us back Ainsley Sam who's a 66 to 90 we're going to scout him again Carl Vincent Young a 69 to 93 he'll be signed up and Tommy Sanoop is going to get binned and we'll continue to scout Ainsley Sam again for another month our final game of the episode then is against Gillingham at home. Uh, one change, and that is Matok, as you can see there, coming in at right centre-back after his red card. Other than that, unchanged, as if we can get a win to round off another episode. Fucking hell, I don't know what Gillingham are doing. Defence is all over the gaff early on. Got to take advantage and get a win in this last game. Martinez to whip it in. There's Ramirez. Moriaru's going to deal with this and give it to the captain on the edge of the box. He's going to shimmy to the right. And then shimmy onto the left. Oh, good save. Can Stepanenko tuck it away? Is it the post? I don't believe it. Unlucky. Hansen did so well on the edge of the box. Got a shot away. It was a good save. And Stepanenko couldn't tap it in. Unlucky. Maric did well again. Got no options in midfield, though. This is what's annoying me. Give it to Stepanenko. Hansen's not really made himself available that much in midfield. Here's Stepanenko. He's actually gone a long way. Still going, Stepanenko. It's fed Hansen. Good step. Hansen! What a finish! What a goal! All the way. Stepanenko has made that from right back. And the captain, the magician, the talisman, the messiah, the hero, the legend. What a fucking finish with his weaker foot. I'm starting to think he has no weaker foot. He's pinged that into the top corner. Stepanenko made it, laid in Hansen, took it past one, shimmied it onto his weaker right foot, if there even is a thing, and he's put it into the top corner and we're 1-0 up, boys. Well done. Manhound and Ben Harris on at half-time, going to give Ben Harris another chance after his woeful performance against, might have been Morecambe or something like that, away a couple of games ago. We're going to give him another chance and we're taking Barros off because he's pretty tired. Ball's been whipped in. Hussain, can he deal with that? Well done. He had a long way to come. And still did. Ramirez. Great challenge. What a tackle. What a tackle from Ramirez. And he's going to get it back down this left-hand side. He's going to cut in and play it to Christie. To Hansen. Back to Christie. This could be goal time if we work this well. Into Moriaru with the flick. It's going to go in. So lucky. It's going to go in off the fucking left-back or the centre-back, whoever it is. Moriaru's cartwheeling around Town Park. 
good little flick from him actually. He tried a little dinkers into it and it comes off. I have no idea who that is. He tries to karate chop it away and can't. But it was worked well and we deserved that. And that is 2-0 and that is game over. Well done, Pedro Ramirez. Always had a fucking, always had a solid game. Always has a solid game. And he's still going now. He's still going. It's Ramirez into the box. Who's there? No options. Christie! Oh, he's put it wide. How? How has he put that wide? He's also smashed that at the speed of fucking sound with his left foot. I think it was deflected, wasn't it? No, it weren't. And that should have been the icing on the top of the cake, boys. The referee blows for full time then. Again, a 2-0 victory. It weren't that comfortable, to be fair. Gillingham were one of the better sides we've played so far this season. But a 2-0 win can't really complain. Clean sheet. Three, three more points. And Legendary is actually going all right so far. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the episode. If you have enjoyed the video, please drop a thumbs up on it. If you are new around here, please do not forget to subscribe. If you're not already, follow me on Twitter as well. The links that will be down in the description. Remember to go and check out the rest of the Youth Academy family. The links to those guys will be down in the description. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time with another episode of the Barnet Youth Career Mode. Goodbye.